Coming to you from RGIS Studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Ambassador-designate of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, has presented his letters of credence to the Governor-General of St. Lucia, His Excellency Sir Emmanuel Neville Snark. In presenting his credentials, the Ambassador reaffirmed his government's dedication to assisting in the development of St. Lucia. Ambassador-designate of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, expressed his hopes of strengthening the diplomatic ties between the two countries during his tenure. Highlighting the collaboration between Taiwan and St. Lucia, the Governor-General indicated that he is looking forward to working with the newly appointed Ambassador-designate of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia. His Excellency Sir Neville Snark stated that St. Lucia will continue to advocate for the official recognition of Taiwan in the international community. The presentation of letters of credence by the Ambassador-designate of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia took place on Monday, August 10, 2020 at the Government House. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, has made adjustments to the bubble countries. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to monitor developments as it relates to COVID-19 in the travel bubble countries in an effort to maintain the health and safety of all St. Lucians. Visitors within the bubble countries with a travel history from these areas in the last 21 days will be exempt from quarantine. However, they are required to obtain a PCR negative test result no more than seven days prior to date of travel and are subject to mandatory screening on arrival. Bubble visitors are also subject to all applicable on-island protocols, including testing, quarantine and isolation, where necessary. Bubblecation is a marketing campaign recently launched by Caribcation, allowing travelers from countries within the designated travel bubble to visit St. Lucia. For many years, residents of Viewfort, Labry and surrounding communities have had to endure an inconsistent and unreliable water supply. On August 6, 2020, the government of St. Lucia held the sword turning ceremony to mark the official commencement of Phase 1 of the Viewfort Water Supply Redevelopment Project. The project scope includes construction of water production facilities, installation of new HDPE transmission mains, and three new storage reservoirs, among several other interventions. Phase 1 of this project is scheduled to be completed in September 2021, with Phase 2 to be completed in March of 2022. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.